question I want to close. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please bring mic for DG. Please, who's with the mic? Is here, please. Thank you. Uncle Deji. Thank the you. The guy with the crowns, yeah. Um, uh, anyway, this question is um, about Sunday's service. Okay, sir. Um, while, we, uh, while you were preaching, mm. I was discussing with um, the guy by my side. Mm. Like, um, on Friday, mm. I and my friend were chatting on Instagram, and he, he now brought up, uh, we are now discussing about the Bible, mm. like God doesn't kill and stuff, mm. and he said um, but God destroyed um, the world with water with, mm. and he knew how sad and everything, and immediately I was saying it, you mentioned something relating to that immediately, and yeah. I was like, oh, I mean, I, re I reacted immediately yeah. um, to the guy, but I uh, I don't really understand uh, the Noah part. The okay. Noah part. Okay, beautiful. Let me not to um, Perry Martins, if you can Perry, if you, if you can get the scriptures. So, first of all, let me lay the foundation for Noah. Who told us about Noah? Moses. Moses was not there. Uh, Moses was not there when that thing happened, but he wrote about it. So when Moses writes, you must read what was the purpose of Moses writing that thing. Salvation. The ark was a shadow and type of Christ. All scriptures are for doctrine. Christology is the doctrine of the Bible. First. So Noah, and the Bible says, is the, is the forbearing of God, the long suffering of God that God, will, Noah was shouting, come into the ark. That's why Noah was called a righteous man in the book of Hebrews. But if you don't understand the revelation, you read the book of, you read Noah's story like another historical story. But there's a revelation behind the story. And I'm showing you the, rev because the Bible is a book of revelation. And the revelation is about Jesus. So the, the, yeah, the theology of the Bible is Christology. The Christology of the Bible is soteriology. So let me show you the theology. The theology is, this is what happened to Noah. Christology is, this ark was a shadow. And Noah went in, no, not this one, come on. Not this one. I'll look for the I'll look for the scripture F for you. I'll look for the scripture for you. It talks about um, the long suffering. Please help me with it. The long suffering. So Noah spent time telling them the rain is falling. The rain is going to come. They did not believe Noah, like we are preaching now. And Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. They don't believe us. So that was a shadow and type. So guess where God was? God was in the ark. What happened to them was the absence of God, not God. It's the absence of God. So God was warning, come into the ark. Animals got saved. Human beings did not hear word. Do you understand? So the message of, I'll look for the scripture for you because I don't know, media is part of the 100 and something scriptures I gave you on Sunday. So it's okay. I'll find it for you now. Yeah? So... Bra, flourish. Where are you? You talk to me. Talk to me. Hebrews 11 verse 7, I think. Let's try Hebrews 11 verse 7. Then 1 Peter 3 20. Hebrews 11 verse 7. I hope it is. If it's not, sorry. Hebrews 11 verse 7. Are you with me? Yeah, watch this. By faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. That means even Noah did not... Had not, you, know, you know before this time, rain had not fall, fallen on earth. Do you understand this? Before this time, when they want to water the grass, water comes from on, under and it is watered. So when Noah was talking about rain, they did not understand what Noah was talking about. But Noah moved by faith. So that story is teaching us about moving by faith. But if you look at it historically, it's just something else. But you must see it revelationally. So by faith, Noah... Being warned of God, of things not as yet, moved with fear. I've explained that, that not as yet because rain had not fallen before that time. That's the first time rain was coming. Moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world. Why? Keep this scripture here. 
John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that uh, um, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. But if you do not believe, you are condemned already. That's what you are seeing here. So this is John 3, 16 playing here. That they refused the ark. And that ark was a shadow and a type of Jesus. That if you are not in Christ, you will see the flood. And became heir of the righteousness which is... By. So, because of Noah's believing God, Noah is called a righteous man in the book of Hebrews. You see that? Let me show you another one. First Peter chapter... First Peter 3.20. 1 Peter 3.20. Sorry, guys. I just need to answer this and we'll close. First Peter 3.20. Which sometime were disobedient. Watch this. DG. Because I want you to show, show this scripture to him. Which sometime were disobedient. When once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. That means God waited. Not patiently, long suffering. And that's an expression of the love of God. Yeah? Waited in the days of Noah while the ark was, pre was, was a preparing. Ah, ah, King James. While the ark was a preparing. I said it on Sony. I said, is it me that bagel? It's, 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 it's here now. While the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by the water. Why? Disobedience. What is this disobedience? The rejection of Jesus. Okay, keep this scripture here. How do you see this in the epistles? Who knows the scripture in the epistles? I'm training you guys now. Leave these pastors. What is this scripture in the epistles? Uh -huh. By one man's disobedience, many were made sin. By one man's obedience, many are made righteous. So what is the disobedience here right now? The rejection of Jesus. The same in Genesis. But if you read it without having revelation of Christology that brings you to soteriology, what God has done in Christ, you are reading a history book. Do you understand it? Bible is deep. Oh. Eh, I, I agree. It's not for... When, when Paul was advising Timothy, study to show thyself approved. In another scripture it says, give yourself to the word and to be diligent in study that you can rightly ototomio, divide the word of truth. That's what we are doing here now. But without the proper division, you say, ah, God destroyed the flood. No. It's the same way we would say God destroyed the earth at the end. But anybody who is in Christ, which is the ark, is saved. So I cannot even tell you for, for a sure thing that that actually happened. Is a, um, you know, these are very scary things to say. I cannot tell you emphatically, dogmatically, that this Noah story actually happened because it is Moses who wrote it and Moses saw it by revelation. Moses was not there. So when Moses saw fruit, he was disobedient. Is it? Hey. So all scriptures are given for the profiting. Where? First, for doctrine. And the doctrine of the Bible, the doctrine of the scripture is Christology. It's the purpose of Christ. That's the purpose of revealing the scriptures. You guys are, eh? you, you, some of you have passed diploma in theology, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just staying in this church, you have passed diploma in theology. I can assure you, you know better than some pastors. Trust me. I've done a clean job. <laughs>